Uh, hello, and welcome to another Flash game. This is Madness Deathwish 2. Um, so, yeah, it's one of the games based off of, um, Madness Combat, which is an animation series, uh, which, if you haven't seen, uh, you can check that out if you'd like. Uh, now, this game does have some bloody gore in it, as well as, um, language, I suppose, uh, so... So, as it says, it's more for a um, mature audience, so, yeah, I'll just keep that in mind, I guess. Um, uh, anyways, um, I'm gonna be going through the game on hard mode, and going to go through it without any perks, um, which is a challenge I decided to make for myself, I guess. <laughs> well, to be honest, I actually didn't know there were perks, so I accidentally went through it on <laughs> uh, hard mode, but, anyways, um, it doesn't matter, we're gonna go ahead and just do that, um, and yeah, I'll go through the game and give me strategies about um, how to play and stuff. So, yeah, let's do this. Okay. <clears throat> Looks like we got a shot or, oh, we're still alive. Okay, so basically we're going to try to escape. Okay. As you can see, we can dodge attacks by going backwards if you time it right. Did not go over the controls yet, but I should probably do that. Um... So, M to mute music if you um, want to do that. If so, uh, to me though, I don't mind it, so I'll leave it on. Um, so, A and D, move left and right. R to reload. Um, Q and E. I prefer using Q and E to change different weapons. Uh, you can also do one, numbers one through six as well. Um, you use the mouse to point and shoot, like I did. Um, yeah, just left mouse key to shoot, so... Yeah, here's some extra tips if you want to read that. Um, but, I mean, we will be able to learn those in time as well. Um, so, uh, what we're going to do, uh, here's the strategy. So, our shotgun will be our main weapon, right? Now we don't have enough money to buy it, so we're going to save it up. Um, and we're also going to get this. It's basically like a machine gun. But I will basically just be using that for zombies. Um, it's good for like area damage, not the best for like a single shot damage. So uh, this is more for weaker enemies, like zombies basically. This is for um, stronger enemies. So yeah. Um, and for armor, I'll be choosing the Mithril Cloak and Mithril Headwear. Uh, you could also choose a Thor hat and Thor suit. I think that these are basically identical and. Um, defense and don't reduce any speed. <clears throat> so there's that. I would recommend either one of these honestly. This uh, reduces speed. It does require a lot of defense but honestly uh, if you're like really slow uh, personally I find that you might get hit more often and that's not good so uh, yeah it's good to get away from the enemy as well if you have to. Anyways um, and if you are playing it for the first time and you want some help, you could get perks, which we're not going to do. I just wanted to show you where those are, basically. But anyways, um, so I think, yeah, these are just achievements. Um, looks like I got one before when I was playing the game last time, but that's, that's fine. Um, so there's an achievement challenge or anything. We're just going through the game. Um, yeah, in hard mode. So, anyways. And over the controls. Okay, so, anyways. <clears throat> the level. Next level, uh, we're in the same room. Uh, but there will be a lot of more of those enemies. Similar to the ones we just encounter. As well as one ninja, which will appear at the last part of the level. Now, ninjas, um, are more powerful and they hit a lot harder, so. You have to be careful about that. Okay. <clears throat> so, I think we went over everything. Let's continue. When you level up, you can restore health, so keep that in mind. It can be useful to know. Okay, there's the ninja. Just be careful. Okay. 
There we go. And I don't think I mentioned this. When we're back on the screen again, you might see on the top left corner, not right now, but when we're playing the game, it'll show how many enemies there are. Once it starts going down, when it's near um, the last number of enemies, uh, that's when you have to watch out for more powerful ones, often ninjas. So, yeah. Something to keep in mind as well, so that might help. Okay, so anyways, next level we'll have two ninjas this time. However, at the end of the level, we'll get a small pistol upgrade, so that will be very useful. Um, yeah, we still have a lot of money, so we can't really get anything uh, right now, so that's okay. Anyways, um, let's begin. Okay. Looks like we leveled up again. Whenever you level up, you can pick a perk if you want to, but we're not going to for the challenge, so that's okay. But again, it is if you want to, so you know. Okay. And the closer you are to enemies, the more accurate you are. However, that's also a bit risky because you can see they almost hit us each time we're way too close to them. So, yeah, it depends on your playstyle, I guess. Okay. Ooh. That's close. Alright, there's a new one of the ninjas. Okay. Looks like we missed. Alright. Let's do the one behind. Whew. Ooh, that was close. Got hit twice there. That was uh, probably not my best. I nearly died, but since we're still alive, <laughs> uh, I guess that will uh, keep going. <laughs> Don't feel good about that though. Anyways, um, next stage, uh, there will be new ninjas, so. Um, it will be a little easier this time. Um, there will still be enemies coming from both sides of the room, so keep that in mind. And, yeah. So, uh, let's continue. Still don't have enough money yet for anything, if you were wondering, so. We'll go back to the shop page in a bit. So, I have a pistol upgrade. As you can see, um, it takes a little less bullets to kill them. Probably only one less bullet though. I think I counted before. It's not a huge difference, but it really does make a difference in the long run. In my personal experience. Of course, you can still could use the same amount of bullets if you miss or something, so you need to be careful where you aim, basically. Okay. But yeah, again, this level is a breeze, really. Okay. I will say the paintings are a bit odd, but eh, I don't really care. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, and there we go. Alright. Um, so at this point in the game, um, if you want to, because the next level... <clears throat> it'll be similar to the last one, except there'll be more enemies coming from both sides, so it'll be more difficult. Um, I would say to the point where you may actually want to buy this um, soon, but we're not going to yet. Um, I prefer buying the shotgun first. It might be a strategy of mine or something, but we're not doing that yet. We're going to in a minute, like in the next level, but yeah, we can still survive. I want to upgrade this to max. Once it's upgraded, um, I don't know if it tells you if it has a perk or not, because it's just a regular pistol, but it does have a little bit of knockback, so it's good. Yeah, as well as a shotgun, so... Uh... Yeah. Alright. Let's do this. Level up. Let's try and survive. Okay. Okay. All 
work out. Alright, <laughs> so we're okay, and yeah, let me just buy this before I forget. So after that, we'll save up a little more. I think what we're going to do is to get the first part of our armor set. Let's save up. We're not going to get the next part yet. We're actually going to get this after the headwear. So first we get the headwear. Wait a bit. We get this because we want to level this up soon, but not right away. We still have to level this up quite a way because we just got this. So headwear, machine gun, then um, cloak. So. After that, we'll have everything we need. Yep, okay. And, uh, with this weapon, you basically want to, uh, for regular enemies, you want to go up close to them to attack. Uh, so, yeah, if you're dealing with ninjas, though, uh, what works for me is to shoot them close up or far away. It doesn't matter as much because if you do miss, they actually go backwards, and that can be useful as well. Uh, so, yeah. I don't know why it's different for that though. It might be a strategy of mine, I'm not sure. But, anyways. Um, so you're free to do it how you want to. You could do close up shots for any enemy as well. I usually do that if I um, have the right timing, I guess. Uh, it's complicated, I'm not sure how to explain it. But, anyways. Yeah, with this, you just shoot them even if you're far away, basically, is what I was trying to say. Okay. Even if we miss, we'll still hit them. So that's good. Ooh, I was dodging quite well. Alright, there we go. Yeah, that happened before with another enemy, like multiple. That would be, uh, that'd be terrifying, I think. So, <clears throat> In a situation where you're using a shotgun, you get surrounded. That can't happen online if there's a bunch of ninjas everywhere. You want to switch to this weapon if you can't reload this fast enough, basically. So, uh, yeah, because this also has a bit of knockback to it, so it's good to have a backup um, weapon in case something like that happens. So we could end up doing that. I don't know if something like that happened, basically. Anyways, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like I have, <coughs> don't have enough of this yet, but... Anyways, let's continue. Oh, yeah. Let me over go over the level. <laughs> I don't know if I went over the level last time, but yeah, this one is kind of similar to the last one. There will be uh, regular enemies, a few ninjas coming from both sides. So, yeah, pretty similar to the last one. I don't think there's much of a difference. Okay. risking up there a bit too much um, at some point, but okay, that was close. Anyways, um, I should be able to buy some armor, which should help a little bit, so yeah, and I do like it because it helps you go a little faster, so yeah, let's do that, um, and again, we're saving up for this weapon soon, so we have this, it's uh, almost leveled up to two, so the way weapons go, um, they level up from one to three, um, so yeah. Okay, let's continue. Alright, as you can see, our movement speed has increased quite significantly. Oh yeah, in this level I forgot to mention. Uh, regular enemies this time, no ninjas, I think, but we'll be flying enemies later on. We are losing some health there, but we do want to level this up, so 
I'm taking into consideration the damage they do, and it's not too much to be a concern right now. But I do want to be careful not to take too much unnecessary damage. Okay. Alright, there's some flying enemies. Okay. Get done with them. Hmm. Yeah, that was close. Alright. There we go. Um. Yeah, still leveling this up. Uh. We do have enough to get this, but I don't want to yet because we're still working on this and we want to have uh, quick access to the backup. So I just press one key to go there to switch between these two. Uh, yeah, so those are our main weapons for now. Later on, before we get to uh, the zombies, we will get this soon. So, yeah. Alright, alright. So, okay, the next level only ninjas. Uh, they'll be coming from both sides. However, uh, there's not a whole lot of them, but they, they're still, well, there's quite a bit, but, yeah, um, <clears throat> what was I saying? Yeah, so, uh, with the shotgun, you want to shoot them, even if they're far away, because they have a chance of dodging. When they do that, they'll, um, yeah, when they go backwards, they'll give you extra room, so it's important to do that, so. Okay. Maybe get a shotgun upgrade soon as well. There we go, gun level up. Very important, especially right now. Ugh. Okay. Go. Ooh. Alright. So it's at level 2, we're going to try to get close to level 3, once it's uh, almost there we'll probably get this soon, uh, this machine gun, so yeah, the next level, um, <clears throat> some more ninjas, uh, so yeah, I think it's similar to the last one, anyway, let's continue, alright. You can switch to the pistol, if absolutely necessary, and you're surrounded or something, so. quite know for sure. We'll switch to this one, try to level this up. However, <clears throat> this is a pretty weak weapon to begin with, where it's not fully uh, upgraded, so keep that in mind. You want to be careful when you use this, because you'll be vulnerable to ninjas quite a lot uh, when you're using this, so yeah. Uh, so you want to level it up pretty quickly. So I say use a combination of this weapon and this if possible, although you could still use this and this if you need to. Um, so it does get a little more complicated with all these different weapons, but yeah, um, anyways, uh, but basically, um, use this as a last resort, a bit, I suppose, is that good advice? I hope so. Anyways, <clears throat> yeah, if this doesn't work, or if this runs out of ammo, <clears throat> you have a lot of guns to work with, basically. Okay, what am I dealing with? Oh yeah, next level, um, there may be more flying enemies eventually. Some other levels coming up soon. It will be regular enemies with guns. Now, they have reg kind of uh, just pistols. They don't do a whole lot of damage, but it can be annoying if you don't deal with them for sure. It can definitely <clears throat> deplete your health quite a bit. If, um, yeah. <laughs> if you just let them stand there and shoot you. So you don't want to let them do that, basically. Uh, if possible. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, just make sure I know what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, we're still leveling this up, and we'll switch to this after we finish leveling this up, basically. 
Yes, so let's well, be some more enemies that shoot you from a distance. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, maxed out. Don't think we actually used this because <laughs> we were quite surrounded. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, but you know, we should be able to use this afterwards. Uh, yeah, some of the levels coming up, I don't know everything about them, but I do have some memories, so. Yeah, after there might be some enemies that shoot you. Some of the um, train levels up ahead may have regular enemies or ninjas, but there will be flying enemies as well, and <laughs> yeah. I think this one should be easy, easy enough though at this point, so that's good. We'll try to use this, switch to this one if we have to. So, there's still no kit by this yet, but that's okay. Alright. It's so looks like regular enemies, which is great actually for us because we need that uh, for sure. So this gun is not very strong right now, so it's actually perfect. And yeah, flying ninjas actually cannot die. So those are regular enemies flying though, so maybe later on it will come up. Um, so yeah. <clears> okay. <throat> That's actually a flying ninja right there, so take a few more shots to kill, but not that bad because the difference between them and regular ninjas is that the flying ones actually cannot dodge, so it actually works quite well in our favor, I think, so. Yeah, alright, so I think everything's good. We're still leveling this up. Oh yeah, I actually could buy this now. Glad I went back to the here, to the store. Okay. And yeah, we have everything, so we don't have to go back here anymore. And I will let you know, I did try using extra money later on in the game to buy this. However, uh, I wasn't able to fully upgrade it, and it wasn't the most useful because it wasn't fully upgraded. So yeah, uh, even if it was, I'm not quite sure it's the best strategy. So <clears throat> and then I did try this weapon as well. It's honestly way too. Uh, Overpriced. I don't even know if I was able to upgrade it before the zombies, but it's basically a slightly upgraded version compared to this, but this works fine, honestly. Uh, what's this upgraded? <clears throat> so, yeah, it's just my opinion on that. Um, anyways, let's continue. Okay, got some enemies with guns. We have full armor though, so we should be able to take a few hits and we'll be fine, so. Yeah. Oof. All right. Think. Almost close to half health. Oh dear. Let's keep going. There shouldn't be too many more. Okay, now we got ninjas playing. Oh dear. Okay. All right. I think we got our health restored since we leveled up, so that's good. Alright. Got five more enemies. Okay. Alright. Alright, gonna level up. Perfect. So it should be at level two now. Let me just make sure. Yeah, so level 2, it still doesn't have the special perk yet, uh, so, yeah, we'll go over to it later once we get that, so let's continue. 
Alright, so should be some more. Oh, actually, there's ninjas this time. Uh, I wasn't quite sure what I was gonna say, but I thought there were gonna be people with guns, so. Okay, we're gonna have to switch to the shotgun. What was, was I saying again? Oh, right. Uh, still upgrading this. Okay, okay, next level. So, this is why it starts to get a bit more difficult. We're going to need to use a shotgun, especially since the um, enemies coming up. They're very slow, but they're extremely dangerous because they're kind of similar to ninjas, but they have, like, plasma swords and very heavy-duty armor. So, it'll take a lot of shots to take them down, so... Yeah, well, basically I'm thinking what we're going to do is to use a shotgun and then once they're low on health we might switch to this to try to get this a little more experience points before the zombies so we definitely do need to do that soon. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. There will also be enemies with guns as well. I know that sounds crazy and really hard but honestly um, it's not that bad because I'm not back up the shotgun so you can basically send those really heavy duty armor ninjas right back into the doors when it came out because they're so slow <laughs> so <clears throat> yeah it's kind of funny but yeah basically um kind of like the strategy so let's do that make sure to level us up soon because if you don't as soon as you're able to uh you're going to be overwhelmed by zombies and that's not good so yeah we're gonna have to try to do that but yeah we're gonna basically use these two weapons now uh yeah and finish off enemies with this to get some more experience points up there. Okay, so I think that's the plan. So, it's only like two or three shots. Uh, and then let's finish them off with like machine gun. Maybe like one more. I think they're going back. Okay. There we go. Alright, reload. Okay. And three. There we go. Another enemy with a gun. It's quite annoying. Okay. There we go. Reload. Okay. One more enemy. Okay, the next level will be similar to this. Um, yeah. Except, uh, I don't know if there's actually that much of a difference, but yeah. So let's continue. Uh, I know what to expect, basically. Alright. Okay, 
There we go. Alright. Uh, shotgun, right? We're actually going to... Oh, don't need to reload yet. Switch real quick. We're gonna this enemy here. It's quite annoying. <laughs> Alright. Do we shoot him enough with the shotgun? No, no. Well, anyways. This should be good enough. And, oh my goodness. There's another one. <laughs> uh, there we go. Oh, nice, nice. We got it leveled up. And look at that. We finally fully upgraded it. And yeah, we should be good to go for the rest of the game. Of course, I will explain um, a couple other things later on. So, oh, next, next level will be similar to the last one again. So that's fine. There are uh, mini bosses, which I wouldn't really consider much of a boss. They're basically two enemies. Okay, it looks like there's a uh, preview plane. But basically... Not, not yet, but later on. There will be two mini-boss levels where there are two enemies uh, where you cannot actually um, kill them. You have to like shoot them to like knock them back. And they'll be trying to come at you. So, yeah. you have to watch out for that. I would say use a machine gun really and you should be fine. Um, anyways, let's continue. Alright. And just use the shotgun a whole lot now. I would say maybe use a machine gun for the enemies with gun stuff. You really want to get rid of them fast enough because the shotgun will take a little longer, so yeah. Or a pistol, I guess either one. I'm not really sure though. Which one is best, but you can see it. Yeah, this is quite effective. I guess unarmored enemies, I would say. Ouch. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna use a shotgun because I'm right there. Okay. Got one more enemy. Yeah, shotgun works fine, actually. <laughs> For that, too. Um, okay, here we go. This is the mini boss kind of level. So, yeah, again, uh, with a machine gun or a pistol, either one works. Just something with a high rate of fire, I would uh, advise to use. So, yeah. Alright. Uh, did we level up everything already? Yeah, it looks like we're good to go. Wow, it looks like. Yep. Cool. Alright, just making sure. Alright, you can see they, they get knocked back quite well. So, I know you may be thinking, oh, well, I can't actually kill them. How do I get past the level? Is it timer? Basically, you have to wait a certain amount of time. It's not, there's no timer on the top left yet, but there will be. It'll say time to survive or something. It'll have a countdown and, um, yeah. So... Yeah, it's a bit of graffiti on the wall there. Oh, all right. It looks like we did it. Okay. All right. This is why we leveled up the machine gun. For this... <clears throat> It'll be we're getting some zombies now. We're going to be using, um, yeah, this weapon right here. We have it equipped. Good, good. All right. And yeah, it looks like, um, as well as zombies, there will be a few flying enemies in the last part of the level. So you may want to switch to a shotgun afterwards. So, yeah. We're right, coming from the right, so I want to deal with more multiple. I think I like aiming near the center sometimes because of how it ricochets um, in front and sort of the side. I'm not quite sure where to aim exactly, but I think it's best to try to have to damage multiple zombies at a time instead of just one because it does ricochet off in multiple directions. So I would say that's a good area of effective damage actually. Okay. We got some of these enemies as well. Alright. And there we go. Alright. And we'll be more zombies this time. Just zombies, but they're coming from both sides, so. Uh, personally, I find a lot of trouble on this level, and I take quite a bit of damage, so... <laughs> uh, let me drink some water in just a moment. Yeah, this is where it gets a little stressful for me, but... <clears throat> Not impossible, but... <clears throat> a bit challenging. I gotta, like, watch both the front and back, and... I would say maybe reloading sometimes, that might be a good strategic option. <sighs> oh boy. Okay. 
Oh, that was the best I did, I really like right then, but okay. Actually, more this time. Oh, 50. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Uh, okay. Maybe a little less spread apart though this time, so maybe it's a good thing, or I don't know, really, but. Uh, do you find this one easier than the last one for some reason? Uh, I'm not quite sure why though. Uh, okay, keep going. Uh. Hey. Should be another mini boss level, but this time there will be those two enemies. I think you've seen before the ones with the rubber duckies, and there will also be a few zombies as well, so it will be a little more challenging, I would say, but not too difficult, uh, in my opinion. So, so we're almost done. Okay, there we go. All right, um, let's see. Yeah, so this should be that mini boss level. Uh, so again, we'll use the same weapon we were using last time, as that seems to be pretty effective. So, yeah. Okay. Hey. Oh, watch your back as well. There are quite a few zombies that come from behind as well. So... In front, of course, as you can see, I suppose. So. Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, hang on, let me switch to my shotgun. Okay, so we're gonna use this and only this now. <sighs> okay, so lots and lots of those, uh, yeah, those enemies with those, like, what's it called? Um, lightsabers or something? Yeah, so this has a lot of knockback to it. It's what we're gonna rely on um, a lot, so. <sighs> Here we go. Let's do this.
we go, we did it. Uh, lots of violence and stuff. Oh dear. Whew. And this the uh, final boss and uh hmm. Oh, what's behind me? Oh. Oh, double crossing. Hmm. Bit gruesome there. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, uh, that's the game. That was basically how I did a bit. Um, disappointing, I suppose, but yeah. Um, okay. I guess that's all.